What's up guys, this is Rajit Gupta, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you what different memory cards are, like different memory card types. SD, SDHC, SDXC, class 2, class 4, class 6, class 10, UHS1, UHS3, you know, all those terminology that you uh, actually um, see over the memory cards. Uh, which card should you buy, like for your purpose, for your appliance, uh, should you buy that expensive card? Is, is, that, is that memory card worth that price? you know all the questions so let me grab my uh, some of the some of the memory cards that i have uh, with me and i'm gonna go over the details do do make sure to check out the summary because that will actually uh, give you all the details at one place so let's get started all right guys as you see i have these four cards in my possession today so let's go over these cards one by one the first one is actually the sandisk sdhc card as you see on the top it says sdhc SD stands for Secure Digital, whereas SD, SDHC stands for Secure Digital High Capacity. So the cards actually, um, SD cards are the cards that has capacity of uh, ranging from 128 MB to 2 GB. And SDHC cards are the cards that have capacity ranging from 4 GB to 32 GB. So any card that has the capacity between 4 and 32 GB would be, would be actually a SDHC card. As you can see, the first three cards are actually 16, 4 and 16 GBs. So these three are the SDHC as are written on all of these three. Whereas if you see the last one is actually 64 GB and that is why it, it's a new card called SDXC, which means it's Secure Digital Extended Capacity. And the SDXC cards range from 64 to up to 2, 2 TB, which is 2 terabytes. Now let's go over uh, this term. As you see, it's called 100x. This is the oldest standard of uh, denoting the speed of the card, and uh, this, this means uh, that like, the writing speed to this card is actually 100 times to the to as compared to the writing speed of the CD. But uh, this 100x is actually uh, not used anymore. Uh, we don't have any any new card uh, displaying any um, this notation uh, because the, it has been actually replaced by the class. And uh, as you see, um, class is actually denoted by a C. And, and the number inside that so as you see it's, it's a c4 this one is c6 and this one is c10 and similarly on top right of this card is you see it's c10 so we have four classes of cards um, today um, and these are class 2 class 4 class 6 and class 10 and respectively these cards have the writing speeds of 2 mb per second 4 mb per second 6 mb per second and 10 mb per second so that means if you are looking for a card that, that can actually support high speed writing, you should go with class 10 because class 10 cards have a minimum writing speed of 10 MB per second. But this term apparently has been replaced by a new term called UHS1 and UHS3. So if you see the, my, my first three cards, these are actually old cards and the, they don't have any UHS um, terminology uh, written on them. But this one, the Lexer card is actually um, is, is a new card that I bought like last year and as you see in small letters is actually say U3 like 3 written inside a U so that means it's a UHS 3 card and uh, what UHS mean is actually uh, the minimum sustainable writing speed of the card and UHS 3 means this card will actually write at a speed of 30 MB per second minimum so that means this card can write more than 30 MB per second but minimum writing speed it can support is actually 30 MB per second. Currently in the market we have UHS-1 and UHS-3 and UHS-3 is actually better than UHS-1 because UHS-1 can do a minimum writing speed of 10 MB per second whereas UHS-3 is 30 MB per second. The last term uh, I want to go over is actually uh, SD and the micro SD card. So these are all the SD cards as you see this is SDHC, SDHC, SDHC whereas this one is micro SDXC. So uh, this one is uh, quite common, Micro is uh, like the smaller card. This one is the smallest card available in the market today. So that is why it's called Micro, uh, whereas these are the, the normal SD card. I'm gonna list the summary uh, of these, these cards and what this terminology is right in this video. And uh, if you're planning to buy the, the fastest memory card that can actually support 4K writing, then definitely go for the UHS-3 card because those are the fastest uh, as compared uh, to other like UHS-1 or cl even Class 10. And also for 4K, 4K writing, uh, you should definitely go for SDXC card because 4K content is actually uh, quite heavy. That means uh, you would be actually consuming a lot of memory space in the card. So do get SDXC uh, because those uh, those actually starts at 64 GB and go up to 2 TB. 
so for uh, fastest writing and heavy content go for uh, sd xe card and that has like uh, highest class rating and as well as highest uhs rating but if you just um, need the card for maybe like normal pictures and songs and like um, and, and other static data then you may think about getting a sdhc card because those do not take up a lot of space and and are cheaper as compared to a sdhc card uh, but I would actually recommend um, getting SDXE and uh, highest class and highest UHS uh, rating cards always because uh, technology changes. Uh, you, you may not know like uh, what you are uh, using your card for in future. So, but those cards are actually expensive, but those are really worth it. So this is the summary page of the entire video that, that I just talked about. It actually lists class 2, class 4, class 6, class 10, UHS 1, UHS 3, all the details and uh, like SDHC, SDXE, like uh, what I just talked about in this video. And uh, this page should actually help you in deciding what card you should get uh, for your purpose, for your device. Uh, for example, uh, for myself, like uh, when I when I want to record some videos in my GoPro, I go for the Lexer, my SDXC and UHS 3 card because it is really fast and, and extended capacity. Whereas if I want to uh, take some pictures in my camera, I go for SDHC card because those are not too expensive and uh, still compatible enough to capture my slow data like pictures. I hope you like this video and this video was useful for you. So if this video was actually helpful to you, give me a like and subscribe to my channel because there will be many more videos coming your way. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.